My friend immediately called me to go check out the situation with him. He saw in the backyard of one of the abandoned houses that there was a mom duck with all of her newly hatched babies in distress. This is the abandoned house. Now you can see there's a lot of construction. There was five ducklings and then there was only three when the mom went back to the lake. Guys, did you, did you Delano. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Well guys, in today's video, we are shortly going to be heading to my friend's house who lives on a lake because he was doing an early morning spin on his jet ski and guys, he saw something out of the ordinary. Now guys, on this lake, there are several abandoned houses and he saw in the backyard of one of the abandoned houses that there was a mom duck with all of her newly hatched babies in distress. Now guys, I have literally no idea what we're getting ourselves into. My friend immediately called me to go check out the situation with him. So that's exactly what we're going to do, guys. Now, I don't know if the mom duck is still there with the babies or if any of them may be injured. So guys, we're just going to have to go check out the situation for ourselves. Now guys, before we head to my friend's house, we're going to go head inside. And I'm going to give you all an update on the little rescued black and white kitten because guys, she is feeling and doing so much better. All right, guys, so we're in the garage with the little rescue kitten, and here this little guy is. Hi, mama. So we're going to go on ahead and open her cage up. You can see that she has definitely opened up to me. She is a little sweet. Our eye, baby. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Guys, you can see that she has gotten so much sweeter. Now, if I pick her up, guys, you can see that her eye infection is completely healed. Now, her eyes get a little bit watery and get a little boogers in the corners, but, guys... That is some crazy recovery. I mean, her eyes have completely transformed. Now, guys, it is time to officially pick her name. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to Sandra McCoy for picking the name Midnight. Now, guys, I thought it was a perfect name for this little girl. And I want to give a shout out to anybody else who picked the name Midnight for this little rescue kitty. Hi, mamas. Hi. One eternity later. All right, guys, so I'm with Delano right here. You can see the beautiful lake. We just got off the jet ski. And guys, if you look right here, this is the abandoned house. Now you can see there's a lot of construction, a bunch of construction site right here, a bunch of nasty rusted metal I see. And you can see that they were building the house, but I guess they stopped in the middle. I mean, I, I have no idea the explanation to this, but this is definitely abandoned. So guys, I'm guessing that's a jacuzzi right here. And guys, that's a guana poop. Oh, my goodness, guys. Let me go around so you can get a better look. Do you see that pile right there? Oh my God. Are you seeing this, Delano? Look how much iguana poop. What the heck? That is crazy, guys. So we're gonna head this way. And off the bat, I don't see the mom or the baby ducks. So we're gonna look around and investigate. All right, guys. So if you look right here at the pool, you can see that this pool is disgusting, guys. It literally looks like it's been sitting here for decades, I mean. Delano, what do you think's in that pool? You wanna you wanna go find out? I don't know, but there's probably turtles, oh, frogs. That is disgusting. I mean, look at all of this brown stuff right here. All of the netting is tangled up right here. This is disgusting. I mean, you you can't even see the bottom. I mean, there's trash, there is plastic bags everywhere, there's hoses or sticks, there's bugs, guys. This is really, really disgusting, but if you look around, I'm not seeing any duck. I'm not seeing any ducklings. I don't hear anything either. Delano, do you hear no, anything? I, I don't hear anything. But that's weird, guys, because Delano said earlier that there was five ducklings and then there was only three when the mom went back to the lake. So, guys, we are going to have to look around. Delano, wait. You see that over there? There's a little drain thing right there. Maybe they went over there. Okay, let's go check this out, guys. Are there several drains? I think there might be a couple around the pool. All right, guys, so this is actually a perfect spot because if you look in the water right here, the ducks can definitely swim in right here. And I'm not going to drop my phone right there, but we're just going to go on ahead and pick this up. Oh, all right. Okay, so guys, you can see that this has a direct... Guys, do you see that? Delano. Delano. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's, let's take this out, guys. Guys. Oh, it's alive! It's alive, Delano. Oh my goodness. You wanna help me out, Delano? Oh. Guys, I don't like toads at all. That was that was really scary. So oh. <laughs> guys, look! We have a giant toad. Oh my goodness. And 
back in the it's pool. gone delano bye it's gone delano well hopefully he can get out like through the net or something i i i think that guy is completely gone he completely sunk to the bottom of the pool all right guys so we're just gonna check the perimeter but already off the bat you can see if you look all around this pool i don't see any ducklings but guys my one concern is that maybe these babies got stuck under these bags right here because we got one two three then we got this plastic thing over there four so we got a lot of bags so guys what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna head over here we're gonna grab a stick move these bags and see if these babies are stuck under the bags okay guys so we're gonna move the bags we got the rake now you're gonna have to do it gently delano because if the babies are under here we want to make sure that we don't injure them with this metal rake right here because that's pretty hard so we're gonna go on head for the first bag right here all right guys Okay, we're slowly moving it out of the way. Okay, maybe try to go under the bag a little bit or oh, grab like one side. Yeah, 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 just like that. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to reveal it in three, two, and we got no baby under there. So we're going to go on ahead, take this bag out of the water. We're going to check these next two bags right here. All right, Delano, you got it? Okay, guys. All right, we're going to be really careful because we keep getting the netting right here. All right. <laughs> hey. You got this, Delano. You almost got the bag. All right. And we got no baby under here. All right. So we're going to place this one right here. We're going to check the last bag or maybe the last. I think those are. that's a bag right there that's like completely deteriorating. But we're going to check this last bag right here. All right. Oh, and he keeps getting the netting. But guys, let's see. Doesn't look like there's anything under this one. Yeah, guys, it doesn't seem to be that there could be any baby under there. Now, we have a couple more bags right here. We got the plastic thing over there. So, guys, I will be back with you once we check these bags to see what we find. A few moments later. Now, guys, if you look over there, you can see we got a pile of plastic bags. We didn't find the baby stuck under here. Now, this is the last thing we're going to check because I don't think a baby's under that bag right there. But let's see. This is going to be revealed in three, two, and... There's no babies, I don't think. Do you think there's babies, Delano? I don't know, but what could be in this? Okay, guys, we're going to investigate and see what could be in there because we just found a giant toad. So, Delano, oh, do you see all of that? All of that algae. So, we're just going to open it up, and there's literally nothing in here, but it's really, really disgusting. Now, guys, we're going to go around over here, and if you look, I spotted this when we were getting the bags. But if you see this little... I think a tree was here but if you look oh my guys goodness. do you see this delano maybe they're in there oh my goodness we we're gonna have to get down on our, our on our hands and knees guys we're gonna have to investigate so we're gonna put the camera in the hole see what we find oh my goodness guys i think we're gonna need a flashlight no but guys you see all of this the babies might be under there oh guys i almost fell whoa guys whoa. this is really dangerous oh my goodness all right, guys, so we're going we're gonna to get the flashlight. Delano, you want to hand me your flashlight? Sure. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to investigate, guys. I literally almost fell, so Delano, be careful. All right, guys, so we're, we're going under here. We're going to check the entire perimeter. Guys, this is really hard to see, but I'm not seeing any babies. But, oh, my goodness, this goes, this goes back pretty far. All right, guys, so we just checked this entire perimeter right here. Now we have this little area to check right here. Now, guys, I'm going to go on ahead, stick the light there. All right, there's a bunch of trash. Now, guys, we completely checked the perimeter of this thing. We checked the pool. We checked the drain right there. I don't seem to find any baby ducks in here, guys. My concern is that maybe the duck got trapped in this pool right here, and then a bird decided to munch on these baby ducks. Did guys, you did you... Delano, Delano, no, 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 Did, we definitely just heard something, <gasps> Delano, oh my god, is that another drain, <gasps> guys, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, <gasps> oh my gosh, Delano, we found them, oh, wait, 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 oh my gosh, so you can see there's a bunch of construction everywhere, Delano, you want to give me a helping hand right here? Okay, so we're moving the tile pieces out, and oh, oh my gosh, guys, they're oh my gosh, get it, get it, get it, Delano! Oh my god, okay, 
It's escaping. Here, Delano, take this one. It's literally covered in mud. Okay, guys, we're going to have to go. We're going to scare this little baby back in here. Okay. All right, guys. Delano, we got him. We got him. We got him. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Delano. Oh, so my goodness, guys. We found the little baby ducks. They're literally soaking wet. They're freezing cold now, guys. I can't believe we found the little baby ducks. Oh, my goodness. They're so little. Delano. We need to double check that there's not more. Yeah, guys. We're definitely going to double check this surrounding area because if they didn't chirp, I definitely wouldn't have found them. So, guys, I'll be back with you once we check this entire area. So, guys, we checked the entire perimeter, but we didn't find anything. We found these two little babies. You can see they're literally covered in mud. It It's really disgusting. So, guys, we're going to head back to the jet ski. We're going to head home, get these babies nice and warm, and I'll be back with you once I get home. All right, guys, so I finally made it home with the little rescue ducklings right here. And, guys, I put them in a towel right here to dry them off. You can see they're snuggled up in my lap right here. They're completely dry now, but they're a little skittish because, guys, they unfortunately just got separated from their mom. So, guys, we are going to be stepping in and taking care of these little babies. Because, guys, my guess is that the mom got too close to the pool with her babies. Two of them fell in, and unfortunately, she couldn't get them out. She probably stayed there for a couple hours and then decided to leave with the other babies because she had no luck getting the two little babies out now guys we're gonna leave them here to rest a little bit because guys they've had a long and exhausting day now guys that is going to end today's video if you all enjoyed today's video rescuing these little babies we'll give this video a big thumbs up and what i want you to do guys i want you to comment down below two names for these little babies now guys if i like your name i'm gonna pick you in the next video now if you want to see these babies grow up and recover from the traumatic event that they went through today well what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel on the link down below